Today we will see examples on identity and inverse of rational numbers. Find out the multiplication of additive inverse and multiplicative inverse of minus 6 by 7. If addition of any two rational number is 0, then both rational numbers are additive inverse of each other. So, can you tell me additive inverse of minus 6 by 7? Think, think. Absolutely correct. Since minus 6 by 7 plus 6 by 7 is equal to 0, therefore, the additive inverse of minus 6 by 7 is 6 by 7. Similarly, if multiplication of any two rational numbers is 1, then both rational numbers are multiplicative inverse of each other. Since minus 6 by 7 multiplied by minus 7 by 6 is equal to 1, therefore, we can say that multiplicative inverse of minus 6 by 7 is minus 7 by 6. Can you tell me why we didn't change the place of negative sign? Think, think. Absolutely correct. Because multiplicative inverse of minus 6 by 7 is 7 by minus 6. But if we multiply minus 1 to the numerator and denominator, then there will be no change in the value of number and we get minus 7 by 6. Remember that generally we represent negative signs with numerator only. Now we will multiply additive inverse 6 by 7 and multiplicative inverse minus 7 by 6 of minus 6 by 7 with each other. This will be 6 by 7 multiplied by minus 7 by 6 is equal to minus 1. Therefore, minus 1 is the answer to the given question. Next example, identify the rational number which when added to 3 by 10 gives answer 3 by 10. We know that 0 is the only rational number which if added to any number makes no change in the value of the rational number. Therefore, for addition of rational numbers, 0 is the additive identity. Now, if we add 0 to 3 by 10, 3 by 10 plus 0, then there is no change in the rational number 3 by 10. The required rational number is 0. Next example, simplify. First, we will solve the multiplication operation. Simplifying 7 by 8 multiplied by 2 by 3 gives answer 7 by 12. Now, with the help of commutative property of addition, we will change the order of numbers and form their groups with the help of associative property. In this bracket, we see that 3 by 4 and minus 3 by 4 are additive inverse of each other. Therefore, their addition is 0. Similarly, addition of brackets is also 0. Since 0 is the additive identity, therefore, in addition, if 0 is added to 4 by 9, then the answer is 4 by 9 only. Therefore, the answer is 4 by 9. So, today we have seen examples on identity and inverse of rational numbers. In the next video, we will see misconceptions on this.